Hey, yo, man, you already know what it is. That life in the pen. Hashtag prison talk. Hashtag in and out. I'm from that 7-1 half a dozen. I'm from that 7 one with the devil on it. You already know where I'm from. I'm from Buffalo. I know y'all said it with me. What's good, y'all? What's the numbers TV? It's your boy, Poe Rowe. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And like a video if you appreciate the content that Poe Rowe and What's the Numbers I provided. Today, we back on the profile piece. This one is on me from Buffalo. In this video, we're going to talk about his childhood growing up in upstate New York. Then we'll talk about what caused Meech to miss a nice chunk of his early adult life in prison before highlighting some of the different things Meech will get into once released. And then we can finally break down how Meech shockingly lost his life and the details behind it. Meech from Buffalo, real name Demetrius Cooperwood, is from Buffalo, New York. Growing up in the rural cities of upstate New York is a lot different from growing up in one of the five boroughs in New York City. But don't get it confused. It goes down in Buffalo, as that city along with other upstate cities like Rochester hold one of the highest murder rates in the whole state of New York. Meech in 2006 would plead guilty to robbery charges in relation to a string of late night stickups of multiple McDonald's restaurants in Amherst and the town of Tonawanda. Prosecutors identified Meech as the ringleader of the gang and sentenced him to 13 years in the New York State prison system at just 17 years old. From there, it will be years of bouncing around from different jails as he served his time. He would go through his trial and tribulations like any other inmate and basically grew up from a boy to a man inside the jail system. Being from upstate New York, his journey was a little different than somebody coming through New York City and the gang infested jail on Rikers Island. Although once in the system, Meech would come into contact with guys from all over the state. Situations with other inmates would arise and Meech had his fair share of fights, winning some and losing some. But as long as he stood up for himself as a man, he was able to make it through his sentence in one piece. In late 2016, after spending over a decade in prison, Meech was released back to the streets as a free man. Although he was scheduled to be on parole for the next few years, being out in the free world was better than walking to prison y'all any day. The first year home was calm for Meech, as he didn't do too much and mainly spent time with his family as he looked for a steady job. He would start messing around with rap and would take on the name Kubala the Rockstar, as he released some of his new songs to the public. Meech was starting to feel like himself a bit, as the artistic side of making music was opening up Meech's mind and putting him in a better place. He started to give some thought into maybe pursuing music full time, but the idea was short lived, because in January 2018, Meech was sentenced to two to four years in prison on a criminal possession charge. He would do a year and eight months on that sentence and was released once again on parole in August of 2019. This time, it didn't take him long to get reacclimated to society as he already knew what he wanted to do, and that was rap, which he did when he got home. He took music more serious, recording way more and even shooting some music videos which were released on YouTube. But he also made another lane for himself in the prison YouTube world, when in October 2019, me started his own YouTube channel called Life in the Pen, Prison Talk, in and out he would tell prison stories about his time in jail and all the different characters and situations he came across while on those mountains. His channel would pick up some traffic as the prison genre was big on YouTube then and it still is now today. So Meech was staying busy rapping and vlogging either way he was trying to make a better way for himself and his family. In the meantime though, it looked like Meech might have strayed back into the streets cause in November of 2011 he was locked up once again. This time though, he was charged with possession of narcotics with intent to sell and held in jail for 4 months fighting the case. He got released in March of 2022 and updated his YouTube supporters that he was home and staying with his sister for the time being. He spoke about getting his life back in order and on track as he looked for steady legal employment. Of course music and vlogging was also in his plans as he was a naturally funny individual but it wasn't paying at the moment so Meech had to use majority of his time doing other things that could be more profitable for him. But then after that one video updating his subscribers, Mitra goes silent again, which left some people thinking maybe he took some time for the case he was fighting and would be home soon. But actually, the news that came out ended up being worse. As in June of 2022, it was reported that Meech passed away after being admitted into the hospital. No cause of death was given, leaving many people online speculating. Meech was only 35 years old at the time. But yo, it's What's the Numbers TV. It was a quick profile piece on Meech from Buffalo. Real name Demetrius Cooperwood. Like I said, man, I was subscribed to his YouTube channel. I got to know who he was on YouTube. I started my channel in 2019, What's the Numbers TV. And you know, during that time, 
uh, he started his channel in 2019, you know, and during that time I was real in tune with everything that was going on in the YouTube streets. I was all over the place trying to get ideas, trying to figure out how I'm going to start my channel, what I'm going to do. So I was watching a bunch of different channels. I came across his channel. He was actually a funny, entertaining guy. I subscribed. He only got 4,000 subscribers, 500K views. But, you know, he was, he was the stories I caught from him were, 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 were good stories, you know what I'm saying? So go check it out. Like I said, his name is, this, this, the name of his channel is Life in the Pen. In and out, and you know, you just go check his channel out, give it some, give it a listen. You know, what I'm saying actually some good content up there. Now his music, his music was average. It wasn't too much his music. I feel like he was a better vlogger, you know, than, and storyteller than, than than a rapper. But you know, to each his own. You gotta, you gotta explore all your interests and you know talents, and that's what he was doing. So like I said, but I liked his, his storytelling better. His music was, you know, it was good, but it was average for the most part. It wasn't nothing crazy. He gave the perspective of the New York State prison system. From somebody who's not from New York City, from not from the five boroughs. He gave it to from an upstate person, upstate resident standpoint. Now, you know, upstate New York, they they got their own identity in jail. You know what I'm saying? It's not like they just nobody knows who Rochester, Buffalo, Syracuse, all these dudes know what they they got their identity up jail in jail. It's not I never been out know, but people told me they got an identity up there. And you know, it's not just New York City guys that's in jail, you know what I'm saying? It's, even though it might be more this than a third, I'm not sure. But you know, upstate New York definitely has its own identity. And he gave stories from uh Upstate vantage point as far as not being biased to the gang because not too, you know what I'm saying? He was kind of like giving us, letting us know what it was who was running shit, who wasn't, who was acting funny, who wasn't, who was getting beat up, who was holding it down, things like that. And I fucked with his channel for that, man. So go check it out if you want. Now, he passed away. No details exactly how he passed away. So it will all be speculation at this point. Some people were trying to say this, some people were trying to say that. I don't know for sure. Maybe somebody who knows it will reach out to me and let me know. And maybe on the next time I could update the video and put a cause of death. But I did see somebody say he was in the hospital first and he ended up passing away. So I don't know exactly how that played out. But rest in peace to him. He was only 35 years old. And uh, I think that's it, man. I want to say as far as like on Demetrius Cooper, a.k.a. Meech from Buffalo, a.k.a. Kubala the Rockstar, man. So rest in peace to him. Subscribe to the channel. Follow the Instagram. We going strong. 83,000. We on the way. All the way to 100K. Go listen to the um, podcast on all streaming platforms. Follow my co-host, Batty Bills. And we out of here, man. Poro, what's the numbers TV? Peace.